Welcome to my video all about our Havsta IKEA cabinet hack. I'm Cami from the blog Tidbits at tidbits-cami.com and I'm going to show you what we did to create a major upgrade on the popular step back IKEA Havsta cabinets. And I feel like we successfully made them look like something you might see out of a Downton Abbey kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> or so I tell myself. Anyway, what's even more fun is that we are using these cabinets in our homeschool slash office room. Um, all right, let's dive in. This is gonna be fun. First, a little information about IKEA has to cabinets, if you are unfamiliar with them. So they come in many forms and with a few fun options to kind of customize your own unique look, but they first appealed to me because I love any piece of step back furniture or cabinetry. Um, step back meaning the top section is set back from the bottom section. It's a very popular style for antique furniture, hutches, cabinets, and European spaces. So. With the Hafsta line, you can pick between, uh, they have sliding doors, hinge doors, solid doors, glass front doors, and no doors. And of course they have a few color options. Right now I've seen white, gray, and well, they call it brown, but I feel it's most, most definitely more black than brown, which is what we've got here. The Hafsta is great for display cabinets. Um, if you do the glass front, they're great for bookshelves or just all around storage, which we desperately needed in this creative and exploration space. Now, while I love open shelving, I knew the storage we needed in here was not going to be something that we could keep pretty. And I definitely wanted everything behind closed doors. So I opted for the solid hinge door on all six pieces. When we got them, we put them in the schoolroom, and they honestly just looked a little cheap to me. <laughs> Something was really missing. And being the first time I had ever been brave enough to go black and moody in my home, I really feared I had gone wrong. I contemplated painting them. I considered selling them and trying to find some like antique cabinets with maybe a little more character. It probably would have been very hard to find and likely taken a long time and would have cost more, which you know we just, we just didn't have for this space. Then the thought occurred to me to add a countertop to the lower cabinets to break it up visually and add some character that way. Now, of course, I knew marble would be the bomb diggity. <laughs> so I did what we always do when we want a marble slab. And we headed to the counter countertop manufacturer in our area to check out their remnant slabs. Now we found a really nice, thick, and huge piece that worked perfectly for the length of these three half stick cabinets and our kitchen bathroom vanity. It was a beast to haul and cut, but by amazing Mr. Tidbits was up to the task. And for both countertops, I think if I remember right, it cost us about 350. And if you think that perhaps cutting marble is impossible, you might wanna check out my video I did all about how we transport, cut, hone, and install our own marble. It is possible, a little difficult, but always worth it. So with the help of my husband's buddy, they were able to move the Carrera marble slab in place and put the upper cabinets back on. It felt so much better immediately and I just absolutely love the contrast and the texture between the black cabinetry and the white marble countertop. Just by adding that visual horizontal line, I feel like the quality of the Hapsta went up several notches. <laughs> the assembled pieces just no longer scream Ikea to me, which is good. <laughs> so if you're thinking about doing the same and maybe marble is intimidating, I also think a butcher block countertop would look very nice right there. And I happen to have a video all about how we made our white oak butcher block countertops for you as well. I'm actually toying with this idea to, to um, do it in our butler's pantry which would look like another scene straight out of Downton Abbey. <laughs> anyway, we will see how that goes when we get to that space. But for now, I hope that gives you some great ideas for how you might customize your own cabinets. And if the Ikea Hafsta 
is the right one for you to hack. Okay, I am finishing up this homeschool space with just a few more fun little projects and then I wanna come back to share the big reveal with you. It is a creative space. We love and use it almost more than the kitchen. So it's been so fun to create this for my family. If you're not already subscribed to my blog or YouTube channel, I would love to have you do that. I will leave a link below for you to get on the list to be the first to know of any new content that I create. Thanks for watching and I'll be back for more inspiration for do-it-yourself living.